Lord Siegfried. I offer a gift of silver as a token of the love and friendship between us. Let us have peace. Silver for a truce. Not a truce, but a lasting bond. I name you my Lord of Rouen, and you bend the knee to your king. I do not kneel to wooden gods, let alone living men. But no matter, let me take counsel. Eivor, thank the gods you live. Yes, to you. Good. I made it inside the palace. Odo would have surrendered the city, but... But Charles showed up with his mighty flag of truce. Aye, and you? After we split up, I took my thanes and secured the bastard prince. He's nearby, safe. Eivor! <laughs> the gods do favor the brave. The lucky and the brave. Ah, so it is said. And Charles, he offers us a hoard of silver. Ah, indeed. And all we have to do is sail away. He brings enough treasure to make every Warthane here wealthy beyond dreams. For those who lived. Gambling our lives for silver, that is our way. Now, do we take his offer? By luck, he's bloody balls, yes. And call him king if it makes the old troll happy. I have dealt with Charles more than you. He may stab us in the back. He can try. And if he tries, I will take his silver and his throne. Uncle, we came for wealth and peace for our clan. We can't take all of Francia. We're too few. Charles, we take your gift. And in return, we give you peace. Siegfried. This man, Siegfried, swears to be my loyal friend and protect our lands in Amiens and Rouen. Gosla, Abel, and my wife died defending Paris from these river pirates. And now, you offer them the very silver we paid you. To defend us. Are you mad? Wait. We know you are. Let me ask instead. Are you a coward or a fool? Siegfried swears to protect our lands in the north. If you surrender my birthright, you are no king of mine. Count Odo, I bested you in battle and spared your life. Honor the terms of our truce. This heathen knows more about honor than my king. Today has been a good day, but I tire of long speeches. We will take our silver and go. You Franks may stay and pursue your own quarrels. Wait. A final matter. Eivor of England, bring forth my son, Prince Bernard. I cannot hand over the boy to one such as you. He is free to go where he wills. You dare defy me? Do you want battle, King? I will take your silver and your balls. Do not wreck our truce over one small boy. Bernard is not any boy. He is my only son and heir. What? Have you forgotten how to make another? This is not over. Eivor of England. Ah, we have won a great victory and a great treasure. Come, we feast.